Hey guys, Gabby here with another eSkate review. This time the Equil GS. This scene is a beast, biggest and heaviest eSkate I ever review on this channel, but also the most powerful scene I ever ride. It's just over a meter long and almost half a meter wide and weighs a whooping 40 pounds. That's more than twice the weight of most of my bolts. It sports dual planetary gear motors. I'm not familiar with this technology, but I can tell you this much. The motors are inside the wheels, same as the hub motors, and they aren't too noisy. You can get a range of up to 25 kilometers. That of course will depend on your weight and the way you ride. Instead of regular skateboard tracks, it features four individual shock suspensions that can be adjusted by hand. And by now, you probably noticed that this board have about the coolest LED lights on any board ever. Not just cool, they're also bright enough and two colors and three different modes. The downside with these lights is that they need to be charged individually with a single charger. It would have been nice if they could have been integrated with the battery of the board like the S-Way Wave. This board is big and heavy, but it's also very powerful. Great power. When I get a new board for testing, I usually set it at highest gear or turbo and just go for it. I tend to ride very aggressively, but with this board, I ride most of the time in third gear. Four gear is a bit scary and recommended only for very experienced riders. It accelerates and brakes very fast. It can also reach a speed of up to 50 km per hour. That is indeed great power. The ESC is Link E. If you've been watching some ESC reviews, you'll find out that this particular ESC is not very popular. But here is the thing, the Hobby Win ESC cannot handle the power on this board. So there isn't much of an option here. The acceleration and braking curve is rather sharp and requires more precise control. The Equil GS is a truly AT ball. It goes over everything. The wheels are big enough and the individual shock suspensions makes it easy even in the most challenging terrains. The remote control seems really good and offers a fantastic grip on the hand. There are only two buttons and five LED lights indicators. You can adjust the acceleration, top speed, direction of the ball, and even the braking power. Now, this board is for experienced riders or for total badasses. If you're planning on buying this board, I'll drop a link in the description down below with $100 discount. You're welcome. And please keep in mind that with great power comes great responsibility. Hope you enjoyed this review and if you have, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'll catch you up on the next video.